we lost a lot because our history was not acknowledged, our history was not affirmed, our life was not affirmed. I think we have to regain our sovereignty, regain our, our self-determination. I think those are real words. What makes you complete is who you're related to, the stories of your family. Those are really important in finding out who you are. You have all these labels that people put on you, but in my mind, I'm a Cree woman. That's me, that's who I am. When we see difference, we get uncomfortable with it, and it's a part of it is taking the, the fear out of that, taking the judgment out of that, and that reflects back again on the knowledge and what knowledge is seen as, as valid. Knowledge is meant to help people and help yourself in, to help your community. Kina no means all of us. We're all teachers, all of us, including the student. So we have to dream about what we're going to do within seven generations. And for me, it's that language education for our kids and for the communities. Well, knowledge keepers, the people that know the history of the community, know about the development of the community, they know the interrelationship between the community. Wahkutuin, it's called our relationships. And Wahkutuin means how you're connected. It is all about kinship, but not just kinship within the Aboriginal community. It's kinship within Northern Manitoba, within the University College of the North. That's what education gives you, the choice of where to live and work. That's freedom. That's independence. And I hope someday that we have a Native Prime Minister. 